All right. It's time for the uh, monitoring functional group update. Uh, my name is Ben Kochi. I'm the uh, lead team lead. Uh, I have Josh Lambert, and, uh, Jose, Mike, and Tiago on the team. Uh, just to remind everybody, what do we do? Uh, we deal with metrics, tracing, and logging for uh, continuous integration and uh, uh, operations deployment. Uh, we're a pretty small team. Uh, we're uh, uh, Tiago is new on the team. He's but he's only temporarily on the team. So we are still looking for uh, several more backend Ruby engineers. Uh, we could really use some help with hiring. If you know anybody who is interested in monitoring and is a Ruby uh, back uh, Ruby on Rails backend developer, we'd love to hear from them. Uh, and Tiago will be helping us out. Uh, big thanks to him for uh, helping out on 10.8, and we'll be going through 11.1. Uh, what are we trying to improve? Well, we're, of course, we're trying to improve on our hiring. Uh, and uh, it, to, to that, we're going to be doing a little bit less in terms of what we're shipping for the next couple of releases. But there's still going to be some cool stuff in, coming uh, down the pipe. Uh, in 10.8, we got some cool stuff. Uh, we now have the pod name. So if you are using the CD pipeline, uh, you can now see the name of the pod uh, displayed in the list. And that'll be uh, helpful for later. Um, other features, uh, some minor bug fixes, and some cool stuff coming. Uh, we finally are going to be turning on the Prometheus Ruby metrics in the uh, Unicorn and Sidekick. Uh, this will be great because uh, now uh, administrators won't have to deal with any of the, uh, uh, won't have to actually turn that on by default. And we'll be able to start adding some cool uh, new features in 11.0. Uh, in 11.0, we're, we're going to be finally shipping the SLO alerting. Uh, this will allow uh, you to create and uh, send uh, alerts to administrators of projects. Uh, by default, we're going to be working on building this thing called a webhook. And this will uh, allow the, uh, the owner of a project or the managers of a project to get alerts uh, in their email through uh, through the through GitLab itself, because GitLab knows the developers uh, or the uh, it knows the manager's email addresses in the project, it can actually send out email through the normal notification, just like a normal uh, uh, mer uh, merge request or issue notification, uh, and that'll be uh, super super fun uh, for administrators or project owners to be able to get alerts uh, directly through GitLab. Uh, we're also going to start shipping the ability to see pod logs. Um, uh, uh, oh, sorry, this is wrong slide title. Uh, we have a few more other cool minor features. Uh, we're going to be shipping the Prometheus 2.0 version instead of the original Prometheus 1.0 version. Uh, as part of GitLab 11, uh, this is an a, 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 a interesting and difficult change because the storage format for Prometheus 2.0 changed. Uh, and there is going to be a manual upgrade process uh, and thanks to Ulysses Volts on the Prometheus team for helping us build uh, uh, a storage migration tool uh, that should uh, uh, for for users that want to be able to upgrade their data. Uh, if the, you're not using Prometheus or you don't really care, you can just upgrade quickly, uh, and it will uh, just reset the data to to empty. Um, uh, in 11.0, we're also going to be shipping the operations sidebar. Uh, or, or that there were there's some general changes to the operation or to the sidebar and uh, Kubernetes and environments uh, are going to be moving to their own operations tab uh, and Prometheus will be joining uh, and uh, and other modern features will be joining that operations tab uh, also coming uh, soon to Prometheus in gitlab.com production uh, is a, a sub project of the Prometheus uh, team's efforts is a uh, really cool new tool called Thanos. And so one of the interesting things with uh, Prometheus is we designed it to be very simple and easy to deploy, uh, but growing to a very large scale can, can be a challenge. And so Thanos is an overlay layer that goes on top of, uh, if you have multiple Prometheus servers in your production environment, Thanos is a really great uh, overlay tool that links all your Prometheus servers together and allows you a, a single query interface uh, and it also has a bunch of other nice features, including long-term storage, downsampling, uh, and and just really great uh, way of like storing or building a really high uh, scalability Prometheus setup for your production clusters. And that's 
basically it on the summary. Let's go to questions. Uh, for alert, for alerts, there uh, will there be an API web hook service available? Yes, that's ex uh, that's exactly how we're doing it. We're building uh, we're building a Prometheus web hook uh, API uh, into GitLab itself, so that uh, external uh, so that um, uh, the GitLab or sorry the Prometheus alert manager will be able to uh, 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 send messages directly to GitLab. If that answers the question, um, I get. I guess I'm curious if that will be uh, externally available, like a developer connected into PagerDuty or something like that. Um, so the 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 alert manager can connect. Uh, the alert manager itself can connect directly to PagerDuty. So the uh, 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 so the, the Prometheus alert manager supports a number of external. Uh, uh, messaging systems, including email and PagerDuty and a couple and, a, and other uh, Victor Ops, I think, uh, Ops Genie. But uh, we have a generic thing called uh, that just is a webhook interface, uh, and we're going to build a, a Prometheus native webhook interface into the GitLab API service. Um, uh, I didn't pick the name Thanos. That came from the uh, developers at Improbable. Uh, I believe the the story there is that it. Uh, uh, Thanos is the in, uh, the infinite uh, of Prometheus. Is that it? Uh, it it comes from the the uh, uh, the mythology of of uh, being the, uh, the 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 uh, yeah the uh, the the infinite Prometheus. But I I don't know I don't know the whole story there. Uh, how do the reboot metrics? compared to the APM solutions like New Relic. Uh, so the Prometheus metrics library is just a metrics library. Uh, it doesn't send you exemplar and other like sampling information, uh, but we're, we basically took the available data that we were using with InfluxDB uh, and turned those into Prometheus metrics so that we get histogram data on and other useful information about like how long it took, uh, like histograms of the time it took to process things in Ruby, how long it took to do database requests, uh, that kind of thing. Does that answer your question, Patrick? Um, any other questions?